Hello everybody, this is all about Harry Potter 7 here, because this is all about Harry Potter stuff, and it's movies 1 to 7. Sorry. Um, right now what I'm going to show you is Voldemort, well, Tom Riddle. It's Tom Riddle's diary. Um, it's a very nice touch, um, everything that's made, but I do have... I'll show you, like, the pros and cons, like, what I think is very cool about it, and some complaints that I have about it. Um, start off, it is, in fact, real leather, if you guys didn't know. Um, how about you look at it? Just a second while I get something really quick. Alright, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. Um, it's real leather, people on YouTube aren't really sure if it's, sorry. People on YouTube aren't really sure if it's real leather or if it's fake leather, but I'm telling you it is real leather. Um, in the sides right here, there's this, this, um, this and this. People think that some some people think that they're hard plastic, some people think that they're metal, because I have the air on in here, but these things right here. It's definitely metal because I have a magnet and the magnet's pulling it. Like literally plastic when I do this. The magnet's literally pulling it. See? So it's definitely metal. Each one of those sides. Now on the back it says Tom Marvolo Rittle. And I'll leave it there for a minute. So if you guys want to pause the video. It's an anagram for I am Lord Voldemort. I A M L O R D Voldemort. If you want to pause the video and spell it out, it's I am Lord Voldemort. As seen, this is as seen in the second movie. Um, inside is made to look like parchment paper. The inside, it's not parchment paper, but it's printed to look like parchment paper. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my iPad while I'm trying to video. But it's made to look like parchment paper. Here's the side. Now, also, one guy, username Sirius Black, he makes a whole bunch of unboxing videos. He has so much notebook collection stuff. And um, But one thing I do want to say is that he said right here, he's kind of disappointed. He wished that there was stitching. Because right here it kind of looks like it's just a piece of fabric cut out and put there. But it's actually not. This is a piece of paper. Right here is a piece of paper. But this is a full piece of leather. Right here. The back side of it is just covered by this piece of paper. So it's not like it just stopped right there. It is all leather. Um, if he's watching this video. His name is Sirius Black. Um, but I do kind of agree with him. I wish there was stitching here. Kind of make it more durable. But this is actually this is actually a full piece of leather. Um, I'm really glad that this is actually metal. These four things are metal. Um, also, in the movie, this thing, this is like a piece of leather sewn on top of it. In the movie, it's like it says Tom or Volo Riddle, and it's like underneath, and it has the gold. Obviously, it's not an exact replica, but you're not gonna get an exact replica. I mean, you'll never really get an exact replica. But I think it's a very good buy for Harry Potter collector. Um, you don't even know I have to be a serious Harry Potter collector. It was like $29.50. Trademark info. Yeah. Also, one complaint I have is, obviously, this. I, I kind of wish, like, somewhere in the middle, or maybe even the first few pages, they would have put, like, um, right here they would have put, like Harry Potter saying, my name is Harry Potter, what is yours? And right under it said Tom Riddle. And then on the next page, it just like showed the conversations that Harry Potter had. But it didn't. But, oh well, you know. You can only do what you can do. But I think it's a very good buy for a Harry Potter collector. You can go to thenoblecollection.com to get it. Um, $29.50. Um, but yeah, I think it's a very good buy. I think you should get it. Alright, the next review I will be doing is on Ron Weasley's Artifact Box. Hope you enjoy.